beautiful beaver coat transformed into a throw. I really enjoy working with beaver. It's a thick fur. The pelt is very thick as well. It's just so nice to work with. So here's the front of the coat and the back of the coat. The customer chose to keep their lining and I really, really like this lining a lot. It is very unique in coloration. There's little bits of pops of red and browns and oranges and little bits of pink throughout the coat. It's really very, very pretty and very unique. So here I am removing the lining and I'm trying to be really careful in removing this lining because I want to be able to use as much of the lining as possible. Um, where the stitching is, where it's attached to the coat, taking it off here, um, it might not be usable because there might be some micro tears or pulls. So it's really important that I go slowly and try to salvage as much of the edges as possible. Again, if you take a close look, you can see the pretty colors in this lining. It's very, very pretty. And there wasn't any monogram on this lining. So once the lining is removed, I'm going to take it and I'm going to wash it uh, in cold water, wash it till it runs clear because uh, they are very, very dirty. And here it is hanging up and you can see it's quite lovely. Now working on the pelt itself and I am taking the collar area and just opening it up in case I need to use that particular part later on, which I will. Here I'm working on the sleeve and the sleeves are interesting because they're always a little bit more difficult to, to un how do I put it? To take the stitches out, to unpick it. It's all hand stitch and sometimes there are several rows of stitching around the cuff area. So it can take a long time just to remove all that uh, thread that holds the cuff in place. From here, I'm gonna start working on my strips. Marking areas that need to be repaired or just sewn in place. And that was the pocket area right there. trying to find the best spot and configuration so I could get a nice straight strip. Here I'm putting just pieces of fur together, making sure that the sizes and the coloration are approximately the same. I'm also putting directional lines on the pelt itself. I want to make sure that uh, the hairs will all lie in the same direction. Once that's done, I start to quilt the backing on my long arm machine. And I always use a design where I have a straight line. So this way, when I go to tack it to the throw, um, I can hide the stitches within the straight lines. And there it is, all completed. I just, like I said, I love the colors of this particular bagging. This is the skin side of the pelt, and that's what it looked like when it was all put together. 
here I am attaching the lining and the ribbon. I'm going to layer it with the backing. And here is the completed throw. The result is really quite lovely. Come visit us at DynastQuilts.com.